Hey, how's it going? In this video, I'm building a lightweight scraper in Make and then I'm passing the response to get the information I need. There's various scrapers around on the internet. Some cost lots of money. You can build it with Python, but if you're a no coder and you're okay with a little bit of code, then this is a great way to do it. I'm using the HTTP request in uh, Make and I'm just doing a basic one. If I do a add module, and I'll show you which one I've selected. I'm just making a request here so you can see this one here. Inside the HTTP request, I am picking my URL. So for this example, I'm scraping TikTok. And what I'm doing is I'm just loading up TikTok with make and then I'm downloading the source and then I'm grabbing the source details and then I'm passing the response to get the information I need. So you don't have to do anything really, providing the source code is publicly available and it doesn't render like JavaScript on the front end or something complicated like that. Because depending if they've got a complicated setup, um, they show different versions of the HTML. Depending if you are a user or you are a robot in this instance, I'm a robot. So the URL will be whatever you need. And then you're doing a get request. And all that means is that you are getting information and that's it. So that's all you do. And then you do pass response. And what this will do, this will quickly load up TikTok and then download the source if it's available. And the bundle looks like this. So you can see here, here's my get request, uh, my URL with some Skrillex's profile. And then we've got a load of waffle, which we don't need to use. And we're interested in the output. If you extract the data here, you can see all of the HTML available. For this tutorial, I just wanted to extract Skrillex's follower count. So you can see here, he's got 861,000 followers, but I don't want to sift through this manually. That's just too long. So I'm going to use some rejects, which is a regular expression um, to extract this bit. Also use a make. And the idea for building something like this is I've got a more complicated scraper set up and I've got it built into a back end of one of my apps. So when a user adds a social media profile, it will go to make and it will fetch the follower account and it will return it back to my app. And this happens within like a second. It's super fast, super lightweight, and it's pretty cheap to run. So after your HTTP request is done, it's going to have the bundle output and you need to get a text parser and all this does is it scans through your HTML and it will find a pattern and that pattern is the part you're looking for. Rejects is a nightmare to write so I used ChatGPT to write this for me and all I would do I'd go to ChatGPT saying here is some HTML I want to extract this part of information whatever this may be for you from the HTML can you write me rejects to do that? And it will spit out something like this. And this is looking for the number. And it's either followed by a K, which is 1000 or an M for million. And I wanted to get rid of the followers as in like the, the actual text followers. So it just left me with like 860 K, for example. And the part where the pattern is going to match is from the data you've previously downloaded from the HTTP request. So the whole thing looks like this. If I just move me and we run this once. Oops, let me just delete this. So you can see here and it's scraped the information. So we've downloaded the bundle data and that's in here. And then the regex has gone to work and it's extracted the values 861,000. So if you've got an app like mine where you need to request a part of information from someone else's profile on the internet, you can do that using make and hook it up. So you would have a webhook here, your app sends to the webhook, the webhook will go to the HTTP request, then it will pass the information and then you can send that bit of data to wherever you like using make. And it's a really good way um, um, to run really um, is cost effective and it's great for no code. You don't have to rely on a developer. Anyway, I hope you liked that bit of information. I know I've blurred for four minutes. 
If you have, give me a thumbs up, like, comment, all of that jazz. See you later. Cheers.